In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a HydraWise account, how a contractor can share their controllers with other subcontractors, and how to use the remote within the app to run zones, programs, and use the zone tester. First, either download the HydraWise app on your phone, or go to the HydraWise webpage and create an account. Once you have created your account, you will want to switch your plan from a homeowner to a contractor. Go to My Account and select Account Details, and then scroll down to Plan Details. Hit the pencil and pad button, and then select Contractor. Next, select the free Contractor Starter that will allow you access to 25 free controllers. To do this on your smartphone, hit the burger button on the top left of your screen and select account, which will give you a drop down. Next, hit account details and scroll down to plan details. Hit the pencil and pad and then select contractor and then the free contractor starter. For a contractor to share a controller, they must first add the subcontractor as a customer. First, go to the multi-site manager and hit add new customer. Type in the subcontractor's email address, hit next and then request access. The subcontractor will receive an email from HydraWise requesting access to their controller. Click on the email and scroll down to the blue bar that says grant access and click on it. Now the contractor can go to their multi-site manager and hit my customers. The new subcontractor will be in their customers list. To share a controller, find the customer you want to share. In this case, the customer is called new customer and hit the three dots next to their name. Hit move customer and then select the subcontractor's name from the list and hit move. Now the customer you just shared will be indented under the subcontractor. The subcontractor will now be able to run or configure the new customer's controller from their account. The next part of this video I'll be showing you how to use the remote within the app to run the system. First, hit the controller at the top of the page which will give you a drop down and select the controller you want to operate. Next, hit the remote button at the bottom middle of the screen. At the top of the page there is a blue bar that says single zone. Hit the blue bar for a drop down option. From here you can switch between single zone, multiple zones, programs or zone tester. My advice would be to not use multiple zones as the system is unlikely to have enough pressure to run multiple zones at the same time. This option works best on large commercial sites with high pressure or for places that winterize systems where they would want to blow out multiple zones at the same time. Start by selecting single zone. Hit the zone you want to run, then move the wheel to adjust the runtime. Hit start and the single zone will run for the set time. To turn the zone off, you can either hit stop or if you go to the home page, you can select the zone that is running and hit the red square to turn the zone off. Next, hit the remote at the bottom of the page and hit the blue bar at the top. This time, select Programs. From here, select the program you would like to run. This controller has two programs set up, Sprinkler Heads and Drip. I'm going to select Sprinkler Heads, which has three zones programmed to it, each running for 20 minutes. Select the program and hit Run Now. This time the app takes you back to the home page and the zone that is running will be highlighted blue. If you go to your reports, which can be located at the bottom right of your screen, 
you will see all the zones that are scheduled to run. If you click on each individual zone, it will give you more information about how the zone will run. Now go back to your home screen and turn off the first zone by selecting it and hitting the red square. Now go back to your reports. You will see that the first zone has stopped but the other two zones are still scheduled to run as we started a manual program. To turn off a manually started program, go to your home screen and hit the gear button which will give you a drop down. Hit stop all manually started zones. Now when you go back to your reports, the zones that were scheduled to run are now gone. The final setting we can use in the remote is the zone tester. Hit the remote button at the bottom of your screen, then hit the blue bar at the top and select zone tester. The zone tester is a quick way you can test each zone. This can be used for cutting out sprinkler heads after the installation of new SAD or just as a quick run through after mowing to make sure your system doesn't have any leaks. Whatever you do in Zone Tester will not appear on the reports. Select the zone you want to test and hit Start to fire the zone. When you are done, either hit Stop to stop the zone or hit the next button to fire the next zone. This will save you a lot of walking back and forth from the controller. The final part of this video, I'm going to show you how to fire zones from the Pro HC controller. First, hit the zones button on the touch screen display. Next, hit the zone you want to fire. Hit the run button, then Input the runtime you want using the touch screen. Hit OK and the zone will run for that set time. To stop the zone, hit Stop. 